What's going on, everybody? It's David from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop. So park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button down below. Also, if you check the link, you can see that I have a Patreon account. You, my friend, can help me create content. All you got to do is click it. You can recommend movies, music, and things for me to review. Now, with that being said, we're back at it again. We're bah! Bah! Cobra Kai, uh, episode seven, titled Obstacles. Now, first and foremost, shout out to the rise of Eagle Fan Karate. Ugh! <laughs> oh, that is the most stupidest freaking name I've ever heard in my life. I think that the name is dumb. It's very derpy, but whatever. We knew that eventually somewhere down the line that my boy um, Johnny was going to create his own dojo. We all knew that he was going to do that. And I felt like he was going to bring, he was going to create this dojo and focus it around the talent of Miguel. Now, it was kind of up in the air at the beginning of the season. I knew that he wanted to get Miguel back in the fighting shape, but is Miguel going to be the fighter that he needs him to be? Because let's face it, you just learn how to walk. It's not like you're going to have to learn karate in a day or two. You're not going to be back in fighting form that quickly. It takes time. So will Miguel uh, basically get back in the shape in time for it to even matter? Only time will tell. Um, I like the design, aside from the fangs and the damn eagle, but uh, I just, uh, I mean, no, nah, I don't like the design. I'll take it back. I scratch it. The name sounds cool. Eagle, eagle fang uh, karate sounds pretty dope, but the damn design looks kind of derpy because the, e the eagle has freaking fangs. It honestly looks like a typical, uh, when you go to Walmart and you see those shirts with the eagle on it, it just looks like that, but it has freaking fangs in it. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, let's just hope that, uh, I don't know. I like the name. I'm not digging the design. But aside from that, the episode, the episode um, is basically Johnny looking for a potential location for him to have a dojo. He goes to various locations and then finds a option where he basically goes for the free route. Uh, there's also a funny joke in there about uh, freaking LA, which is the truth. My man went in there, it was the bestest, it was a freaking disgusting. Everything was horrible, bum shitting in the vending machine. And he was like, all right, man, this is a shitty location, but I could get it in shape. How much is it gonna cost? My man was like three grand. He was like, three grand? He was like, hey man, everything in LA is expensive, which is very true. So <laughs> that joke right there had a lot of truth to it. Um, now, aside from that, we have Miguel returning back to school. Um, Everybody's in love with the idea. Uh, Miguel comes back to a freaking warm welcome. Uh, he finds out that his boy got his uh, arm broken. So he's, he's very upset about that. Um, then you also have Daniel working with Sam in order to try to get over a little PTSD. Uh, he gives her, gives her a freaking a pep talk, like how um, he, used, he gave her a pep talk and then basically used the synopsis, I think for Karate Kid 3 in order to help her get over it. Um, the you I felt like the episode was kind of lacking. It wasn't much to it. It's just really just trying to set up the pieces, I guess, for the future. It was nothing really special. It was just a lot of plot building. Now, um, more of a spoiler section. So if you don't want to be spoiled about things, even though you probably already seen this episode, you need to back out. Um, I thought it was cool that Daniel took uh, Sam to the fishing location where Miyagi took him. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, he also gave a like I said, the backstory, the overcoming fear backstory from Karate Kid Three. That was pretty solid. I love the callback to that. Um, I'm just digging these callbacks. Like everything, it seems like they're really applying things from the previous films into this show. And I like that because it shows that, like I said, it says the soul, ah, it shows that the soul of Karate Kid is alive in this show. And that's more than I can ask for. There's so many things that they dub, do something over, they make a series about it, and it's like it loses its identity along the way. Or sometimes it doesn't even have the identity to begin with. And it feels like Karate Kid is trying to stay true to that. I respect that. Um, it makes you wonder if they're going to venture into the film with uh, Hillary Swank with the next Karate Kid, or even find some kind of way to tie in the Jaden one. Uh, we'll see, you know. But only time will tell. Um, it's kind of interesting. And the last thing I want to say, uh, I'm just get, uh, glancing at my notes right now, um, the last thing I want to say that's pretty interesting to me is that now we're going to have three competing dojos. Um, these three competing dojos, honestly, I think their main goal is going to be to defeat Cobra Kai. 
because they are the enemy. Like both of these dojos were kind of manifested in order to kind of take down Cobra Kai. So we'll just see where this goes from here. But all, like I said, other than that, there wasn't really much substance in these episodes. There was a lot of world building, not world building, but plot building, uh, setting up pieces. And uh, hopefully that we don't have, hopefully we don't have back-to-back -back episodes where we're feeling like, okay, like that was cool, but like, let's get into some something more interesting. Hopefully it doesn't feel that way with the next episode. Cause I felt really like a lot of these episodes have been really solid. And I feel like this one kind of was like, uh, I guess it was a moment to breathe. And hopefully this breath is short winded, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So that being said, that's my review. Tell me if you love it, tell me if you like it, uh, you know, tell me whatever you believe, but all in all, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys tomorrow for my next review. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out. And until next time. Adios.